Hi, in this new video tutorial, I show you how to make this cool effect in Photoshop. Let's get started. Create a text layer and adjust it, so the letters don't overlap. To get a good result with this effect, I recommend using a thick font. The font I'm using is called Bohemian Soul, you can download it for free at From Font, link in description. When you are done, convert the layer to a smart object. By converting your text into smart object, you will be able to edit it when the effect is ready. Go to Filters, select Liquify. If you have layer overlay, like in my case, this could be a bit confusing. To fix this, select background here. Now you can modify your text layer until you get the result you like. This is my final result, but you can change it at any time. To create the light effect, double-click on the smart object to open the layer style. Select Inner Glow, choose a color, in my case I will use yellow. Set the blend mode to normal. On Contour, select the simple curve. Set size to 25. Next effect is color overlay, here you have to set a lighter color, tending to white, in my case I used a light yellow. Activates the outer glow effect. Set the opacity to maximum and select normal to blend mode. Select the same color as the inner glow and set size to 55. Convert the layer to a smart object. Go to Filters, select Blur, then Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 10. Open the Style layer and select Inner Glow. Select a different color, in my case I used red. Set Size to 40. Set range to 100. Activate the satin effect, select the white color and set the blend mode on overlay. Set distance to 1 and size to 0. This project is available on my Gumroad page, link in description. Set contour to simple curve. Set opacity to 70. If you want to further enhance this effect, I recommend adding a brightness and contrast level and turning on clipping mask, so the adjustment layer will only affect the graphics and not the layers behind them. The settings I used are Contrast 100 Brightness 80 To apply noise effect, select all layers and convert to smart object. Now go to filters, select noise. Sets Gaussian and an amount of 13. Here is the final effect. All parts are editable. To do this, just double-click on the layer to open the smart object. This is for each smart object, down to the part you want to edit. Whenever you edit a smart object, you have to save all the others until you return to the final project. So after editing the text, save and close this project. Here, by clicking on Liquify, you can modify the distortion, to better adapt it to the new writing. Now save and close this project. As you can see, the graphics have also changed here, so save these graphics too and close the project. Thanks for following me to the end, I hope this video was helpful. Leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so as not to miss other upcoming content.